We're in a garage here again, working on a hoverboard, kind of like a skateboard, but a hoverboard. And we don't know how large we're going to make it, but right here, you see a hole that air is going to be blowing out of. Turn it on and off here. That's the bottom of it. What we do is we put air into the bag and then transfer it, the same air to the ground. I'll show you where that goes. Right here, it's going into the bag. And from here over, it's transferring the same air to the ground. There's a valve here to adjust the flow and how much you want. I'm pretty heavy, so I want it on full. This is a standard yard leaf blower. They also come with battery packs. Right now we're hooked up to the extension cord. I want to show you how this works and how I weigh 230 pounds, how it lifts me up. something like this and on the directional we're planning to put a fin something like this to help direct the car when it makes it I mean the hoverboard when it makes a turn like this and like this in the in the late 40s they made a car now the car meaning it had four wheels on the ground that had a fan very similar to this on the back that thing would go 80 miles an hour it was an awesome concept but this, this right here, we're planning to make a toy for kids to enjoy. Something that they can either stand on or sit on. As we develop, we'll see what we're going to make. So keep watching while we invent something from scratch in our garage here. I'm powering it with a Craftsman 150 mile per hour leaf blower that I have hooked up to a flexible vent air vent tubing. Now the only problem I'm having with it right now is the top on the bottom is not level so it doesn't float as good. It can still support the weight but I'm going to need to probably redo the top, put a new one on and make it more level. I'll show you how it looks now when I fill it over with air and you can see the unlevelness. level 